All right, there we go. I messed something up. My bad, guys. It's not going to be able to go on full screen, so we're just going to watch it from here, kind of. Okay. D getting better with the uh, beats. Intros. So this is a new series. I believe it has its own playlist. Episode 2 is coming out tomorrow. Okay. Okay, D. Now, this is probably the best video so far. Now Rico's jumping. Huh. Okay, this is heck of an intro. Okay, so it's probably like a, um... I think a, um, time lapse. Hey. Yeah. It's D. I'm me. Oh, come on now, they messed up the beat. They really messed up the beat. I don't know why I still have a turkey on my channel. I, I, I would have to change that, you guys. Alright, so in, in the military, you guys, um, if you're from a country like that is like, not... Like, used to it being in another ter terrain. Um, like Russia and Ukraine. Ukraine's kind of like a muddy, foresty biome. So, what I'm trying to say is, you guys see this mountain, these mountains over here? Hold on, let me show you. These, hold on, let me snip. Can I snip? Um, snip. So, you see these mountains over here, you guys? All these mountains over here. That is the Russian border. This over here is the Russian border. Uh, no, thank you. And this is the, uh, right, all of this right here, this, uh, sandy biome is another country, you guys. And the Russians had hard time going through there. So, yeah. I'm guessing we're on our way scouting or something. I don't know what we're doing. But I think this is a special operations group, as it says it in the title. Uh, let me see if there's I'm trying some. Trying to scope out this area. Oh, there I go! There I go! Letters okay. are one snipers in position. Over. Roger, sniper in position. Try not to get spotted. Over. Communication is key inside the military, you guys. Definitely key. Let's get back into it. Letter zero 01, I have a uh, positive PID on a unknown. Now, what PID means, with it just it's just short for positive ID. So, yeah, if you guys were wondering, it's just short for PID. I mean, positive ID. So, yeah. Some words in here you will not know. Unknown. Some are part of the alphabet. Unknown. The NATO alphabet. Uh, unknown base. Roger. Behind enemy lines. Over. Roger. Um, oh, we don't have our sniper. That means we're gonna have to get up close and personal. We're, we're gonna breach in through its gate. It has a south gate. Let's breach in through there. Now, we usually do have a choice of how we can enter, go loud, go, go quiet. But today, well, <laughs> you guys will see. It's time to see what they're hiding. Possibly aliens. I don't know. Now, this is a desert, but it's not Area 51. No. Oh. Could be a secret base. Alright, fly low, fly low. Over the canyons of snowy Russia. Wow, there's not much snow here today. Well, Ooh. um, that is the border between Russia and, I believe leave saudi arabia i don't know one of those desert countries that's the border between it so it have less snow the further south you go that's just common sense murders little one we have a spy blimp over there let's try to take it over and see what the heck now we heck hold on hold happening. on hold on roger we haven't seen unidentified aircraft please two, revert course now oh, right. let's board it here we go it's gonna get closer 
All right, so we haven't seen none of these blimps in a while. Hold on. Uh, let me go new. Go there. Snip. There we go. So we haven't seen any of these blimps in a while, you guys. So this blimp right here, you guys, that is just new, you guys, because it had propellers back in the day. So, yeah. That is weird to see uh, Ukraine... I mean, Russia using blimps, spy blimps. Don't they have spy aircraft? <laughs> they, uh, Russia didn't even have to get close to the Ukrainian troops. Huh. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the video. Oh! Now, landing on a blimp, that's totally possible, but it'll be hard to do. It'll be, you have to be like a, a very good pilot to do that because uh, the blimp is moving also very slow But due to gravity the helicopter might fall down to the ground. So yeah Let's go <laughs> And I experienced this at a high altitude when I was free falling from Alapa Oh Oh, so I don't think a blimp can spin out that fast. It usually is a slow free fall, but like a very slow free fall. Right, we're on top of it. Yeah, that's definitely from World War II. I don't know how. Hindenburg. Fly, fly, fly. There we go. Hindenburg. Yeah, I don't know nothing about these things. Excuse me. All right, we have control of the spy blimp. It has a helipad. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying that blimp has a helipad or the base? Um, I don't know what you're saying. Probably the subtitles. This is a big base. Oh, what the, what the, what the, what the, what the? What the? Oh, okay, yeah. There's a t helipad down there. Oh, we have to jump out. Oh, 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 oh. We have to jump out, you guys. Oh. Measures are one. We're close I'm to the base. To Over. Like that, Roger. We'll Get ready to breach. Especially There's three entrances. You can go. If we're doing an aerial operation, no matter what force you're in, Marines, Special Ops, Navy SEALs, I believe this is Russian Spinsnas or something. It, if they're skydiving, they would definitely have a reserve shoot, no matter if they're not in the military or not. I mean, not in the military, but if they're not in the Air Force or not. So, yeah. Go in through the main entrance and go in loud, or you can go in through the back entrance. All right, let's try to do this. Like I said, we do have a choice. Sneaky. We don't want the Russians knowing Ukrainians know about this base. Also, USA is sending spy planes over there, so we would definitely know before Russia even knew. So yeah. Roger middle. All right, looks like there's generators and oh, there's a guard right there. Oh, there's a guard down, right you're there. Down. You're down. We, we there's a guard right there, you guys. Right? It was a captain there's a guard order. right there. Let me spot him. Let's see what he has. Hey, guys, this is after the events of the uh, Nike nukes launched, which is right here when the nukes got launched in USA. Uh, this is, uh, after that, and this is the, uh, season th one, I believe, season one, chapter two, so yeah. This is a good series, it went all the way from Jack Cabot all the way to this mess. I can't tell. Alright, so there was a guard right there, barbed fence, so we can't get in so easily, unless we have identified clearance. So, we need to take, we need to get a disguise. Now, we're military, not CIA, but we could do it. I mean, that's a good idea. We need to get in that base without getting spotted, so. I don't want to be hit, man, but. Captain's orders. We need to get an officer disguise. Okay, okay. Because I believe. Hold up. D knows what he's talking about. D knows what he's talking about. First of all, officers and um, enlisted can't go in that bunker. They can go in there. Not officers are only allowed in there. They are allowed both in there. But uh, the enlisted are not in, in allowed in certain areas because they're not uh, high rank enough. 
You have to be a E-05, Lieutenant Conyol and above, to go inside the, um, the, uh, Secretary of Defense office. So, yeah. And also, the officer disguise is kind of smart because then the, 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 uh, Russian soldiers will salute you. Which, I like that power. I believe you guys that officers are only allowed in there. So. Oh, I said I believe, but I didn't know. How did I get that intel? USA doesn't have planes inside a bunker. They probably do, though. Captain, sir! Oh, they th already think I'm an officer. Okay, okay. Okay, they're calling me Captain? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Captain, uh, we need you inside the bunker. Bunker? Yes, sir. Now, in a spy operation like this, we would try to play stupid, but also enhance the information that they're giving us. Alright. Drive me over there. Yes, sir. Now, unless they do dr drive officers' um, places, um, in the movies, the Hollywood movies, in a uh, war movie, you see the enlisted driving the officers everywhere. Uh, if you've seen the movie War Hunt, you guys, um, I believe as a specialist, private, whatever, was driving the general, Conyol, I meant, Conyol, uh, places. So, yeah. Alright, they're driving me over to the, uh, they they can't drive. We go. Dang, okay. Drive the officer safely there, I meant to say. Okay, yeah. Alright, so they. <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. The video restarted. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, just before we get into the bunker. There we go. Oh my god, you guys. These E3s and e E1s and above, you guys, they cannot drive. Except the technical sergeants, they can drive. They can yell at you too. Non-commissioned officers, eh? The drive driving you over to the... They can drive! Dang, okay! Drive driving officers safely there, I meant to say. Alright, All right, so, so they think I'm an officer, but I think that, that is a bunker. bunker. So, so they said they take the officer, officer to the bunker, bunker with me. Lieutenant, Lieutenant uh, yeah. 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 Sir, sir, we need you in that bunker. bunker. I don't know why the captain needs you. So, if, if they don't know why, well, if they don't know why the captain needs you, it's something important. Definitely in something important. Okay. Captain Sir! Oh, they saluted me. Holy. Are those missiles? Oh, they have a missile stockpile here. Absolutely not. We would not say that. Oh, they have missiles there? Oh, cool. The Russians would know you're a spy. Where are they bringing me? All right, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna get out right quick. We're going down the elevator. This is a bunker. Holy, oh, holy. So, so you you saw that roof above the uh, bunker? That bunker? Let's go back. I can't really get a good shot of it. Alright. There, I believe. Yep, me. so you see that. Oh. You see that roof right here, you guys? This stops us from seeing from above satellites, planes. Because this, it looks like a regular building right here. So that's why these walls are right here. And this is right here to make it look like a building from above. Alright, sir. I'm gonna get out right quick. 
We're going down an elevator. This is a bunker. Oh, holy. Right, we in here? We in here? They really saluted me. Hey, salute, right turn. Return the salute. Left incline 90. That's probably what they did, y'all. Oh, dang, 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 dang. They marching. They already marching. We already seeing marching people in the, uh, in the entrances. All right. Here's the captain, sir. Thank you for the ride. No, nah, that was the most right, we have a meeting ride with the officer can get. It. Captain. All right, we're inside the oh, base. Oh, dang, 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 dang. So this right, is we a, have a meeting with the captain. Bunker. Because look, 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 look. Oh, no, that was a fan. Right, we're inside I the base. We're trying to get intel. This legs. is a Russian base. And I'm only allowed in certain areas. Salute, sir! Thank you. Captain. Perhaps. All right, so with the officers, that's my expertise. <laughs> Perhaps you have been tasked to destroy the Ukrainian base in the mountains. Yes, sir. I'll do it by the minute, sir. Now, e even though you're an officer and you're speaking to your superior uh, men and your uh, commanding officer, even though you're an officer, you still have to listen to their rules. They are higher rank than you, and well, they hate you if you don't comply. So yeah, and they might make you go anyways. Like if you say, "Sir, I'm a lieutenant. I don't want to go. I don't have to go, and I'm not going." They'll send you anyways. Dismissed. Okay. Lieutenant. Good. Now, Lieutenant, I don't know what type of Lieutenant. There's Lieutenant Kanyo, Lieutenant First Class, I believe. Second Class. I don't know about First Class, but Second Class, yes, I know. And, um, OR and O2, I believe. The C. Lieutenant Conyol and Lieutenant Second Class. Yo, I just wanted to talk to you about the Ukrainians. So I'm either a O, O5 or a O2. Having a secret base in the mountains. We are doing it. I am planning an attack today. All right, sir. You are going to be leading Battalion 120. Now, lieutenants, if they're an officer in the military, they do lead battalions. So yeah. By the way. Third. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. Salute, sir. Now you're definitely going to salute your commanding officer. I mean, he's an officer, but he's a commanding officer. So, like, he's Admiral, let's say, Conyol, not Major. Kind of Major. Lieutenant Commander, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you, sir. I don't know what that noise is, but they did not do that. They do not do that. I know they do not do that. <laughs> he was trying to salute with drama. Sir, are you sure? Oh, he has guards and everything? Uh, sir, are you sure you want to attack the Russian base? Yes, intel's over there. Yes, sir. Alright, he said the intel's over there. I think I'm walking like a general. Alright. So, here's the ins- <laughs> Without the gear? Yeah, I don't think you're a general. Not a general? Huh. You're a, a officer, but not a general. I lay out from the hacker that sent this us. So, we can go in this way. There's an employee entrance, but we have- Now, I believe one to two stars, lieutenant general. To sneak in. It's this way. Okay. We can go in two ways. We can also try to steal a train. How is Special Ops gonna steal it? Well, they do. They <laughs> they do do cray cray stuff, you guys. And try to get in there. Okay. Thank you, sir, for the intel. Alright. 
All right, sir, you ready to go? Yeah. They driving me everywhere like the president of the United States, aka POTUS. All right, sir, we're going to Outpost 39. That's where you tasked. That's where your men will be. Okay. Are we going loud on this, Captain? No, stealth. Stealth is not an option. Yes, sir. Now, we try to maintain our stealth. I mean, we maintain our stealth in the SC. We, we definitely do. But sometimes, we get caught. But when we get caught, the alligator bites us in the back. So we have to do this stealth to you guys. Oh, are we being attacked? Oh, I was about to say. There's a lot of commanding officers in this bunker. Have a good day, sir. Salute! Oh, they already saluted me. <laughs> I'm not even that higher of a ranking officer. I'm like halfway to admiral of the fleet, you know, or army, or whatever, whatever branch. I'm like five levels down from that. Under what was in here. All right, sir, we'll take you to your helicopter. I am not the president of the United States. They escorted me like I'm POTUS. I'm just a Lieutenant Conyol. I'm not even the Admiral. I, I mean, I would kind of get it if you were the Admiral of the fleet. You are a very important person. Lieutenant Conyol, really? Uh, 05? He don't deserve that much respect. And I like that he is serving this country. Reservist, active, anything. Veteran. Well, he wouldn't be veteran and fighting in a war. But yeah, thank you for your service, Rico. So we're going to Prospero to read us to uh, get ready for the attack. Watch out! Make a U-turn. Don't be suspicious. Plan with the attack. Salute! They saluted. <laughs> they saluted. They just saluted me when I made a U-turn. Really? Really? You didn't have to do that. But thank you for the respect. I don't know why they already they salute me. They respect you. Dang, okay. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to drive suspicious. I'm an officer. You think my credentials would be allowed to go in there in uh, Prospero Toretas' uh, bunker? Uh, you are the rank of Lieutenant Conyol, right, sir? E-05. Yeah. Officer, right, sir? That is an officer. Okay, sir. Whoa, whoa, yes, whoa, 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 you... Sir, whoa. right, sir? That is an officer. E-05? E There's no such thing. Yeah. There's O-5. Officer, right, sir? That is an officer. See, that's what I was just saying. Uh, you are the rank of Lieutenant Conyol, right, sir? E-05. Yeah. Oh, five. Officer, yep, right, correct. sir? That is an officer. Okay, sir. Yes, you are allowed in there, but only in this. <laughs> I know I'm allowed in there. I've been serving for five years. Certain areas of the bunker. Okay. Whoa, what is this uh, um, Ukrainian base up here? And then the okay, there's a town there's a right here. We're entering a major populace. We're gonna have to go through the, that outpost. Roger. Holy, they have a secret base in this mountain. That is not normal for Russia. They have all, all kinds of mountains and terrains. They, oh, terrains there, you guys. I, 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 I would put a, a secret base in the mountains. I would if I had all that land or all that mountains. Yeah. Where am I going? I was supposed to go to uh Prospero. Tierra Kelly V Y N dot F Y I. 
I don't know what that is. Can you stop scamming the stream? Thank you. Okay. Whoa, what is this uh, um, Ukrainian base up here? Hold on, you guys. It's sending me off trajectory. All right, we're going through this so-called secret base. They also have nuclear missiles here. All right, we're going through this secret base, I guess. Oh, oh, who are you talking to an officer like that? Who are you talking to him like that? Who, Sheldon, um, Sergeant Sheldon, who are you talking to me like that? Fo, why is he talking to Rico like that? He said, just call it the bell. You don't talk to your superior commanders like that. She irritated. We're waiting for you at that weapons factory on the river. VNFYI. What does that mean? Do you know what that means? Tierra Kelly? Tierra Kelly. She famous now. She a bad too. I don't think like uh Jews. No, that is wrong. I do not do that. Oh dang, we on the mountains. No. Also, that was wrong context. I did not say the word. I love Mother Russia. Now that is Russia, you guys. Holy! Oh yeah, that's part of the Ukrainian deal. Uh oh, what's happening? As an officer, I am cleared to fire. Go we have tanks. Is this during the war right now, or is this uh, before the war? If uh, some unknown force fires at us, then this is the war that's happening right now in Ukraine. Oh, go, 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 go! What? Oh, he jumped out like that. Fire! Fire! Let's hope our truth. If that tank fires, it fires! That means we're at war with Russia. I mean, Ukraine. Holy, we have a whole tank. Where'd he at? Where'd he at? Not effective. Oh! Salute the officer! We don't have time. If you're in the middle of war, you do not salute an officer unless it is all clear. That's distracting, too. Time for that! Destroy the enemy! That was the Ukrainian- Oh, they own bikes! We have a whole tank here. Get the officer out of there. Repeat, get them. They trying to get me out of here when I'm having fun shooting the enemy. Let's hit it out of there. We'll handle it, sir. All right. Code one. Code one. Code one is off-road VIP escort. That means we go off-road. If we're being chased by somebody. Code one. Take off-roads. Roger. I know my stuff. Take an alternative route, sir. Sir, you did the right thing. Did it just say I'm in a UGV when I'm in a Humvee, a Russian Humvee? They stupid. Maybe because they're Ukrainian and they don't know what Russian stuff we have, like vehicles. Every nation has a different doctrine, military vehicle doctrine, so yeah. Like, we have M120s, Russia has smirches, which you've saw, if you've watched you, the news, you guys, you've seen them fire them, those missiles, and it's actually in, in the series, too, in episode 1, 2, chapter 1, I believe, Art they fire missiles. Also, Nike Missiles Lounge, that's uh, another video, that uh, Russia launched those Smirches. Troops were under attack. You did the right thing, sir. Well, I well, if I'm an officer, I would definitely go out there for my men and sacrifice my life to to kill the threat. I think you did the right thing. We lost them, sir. Dang, where were we going? We going far. I'd rather airlift. <laughs> but we do not complain. In the special forces, you guys. Unless our superior isn't there, which he is. Good. That was so you see, we're going through all kinds of terrain, you guys. Uh, that's gonna be hard for Russia to get through. Definitely. Ukraine, you guys. That was the Ukrainian troops. We're going off the major bridge. Over. Roger. 
going off to major bridge over roger major bag alert over major bag is alert is a uh, <laughs> i never heard of it before but it's like a joke military uses i don't really use it but the general did so yeah funny really funny general really funny general smith why are you hunking at him never mind never mind never mind don't they have like a secret base up here somewhere i don't know What is that? Is that a tornado? We would definitely take an alternative route. Or is that a sandstorm? Or a war zone? Watch yourself, General. I can't wait to take that secret base. <sighs> hey, calm down, uh, General. Because we'll lose a lot of men. We'll definitely lose a lot of men in that war. Holy! Oh, I was about to say that's our war zone. Wait. No, that's not. That is our war zone. That's the Ukrainian border. Are those dust devils? That's gonna be a problem if we ever have war on Mars. <laughs> Major pack alert. See, it's a joke. It's a joke. That makes uh, officers laugh a lot. E1s and through E5 say it. Oh, oh, a secret road that lit leads into the mountain. No, sir, that is our secret base. Oh, okay. Shouldn't you notice you're, you've you been here for like five years, sir? Well, uh, sometimes I get a little high, so. Oh, what? Okay, so they, they take a drug test, I believe, every three months, I believe. I, I might not be right, correct me if I'm wrong, but they do take drug tests test in the military you can't get high you can't drink hot alcohol or anything so yeah sometimes my mind isn't right so yeah forgive me it's okay sir sometimes we got to get our little drink on too sir <laughs> they even gave me a laugh now this is wonderful for this terrain oh my god now this vehicle would have to be made from Ukraine. I mean, they build certain vehicles to adapt to different weather and biomes. Oh, come on now. I was into it. Glory. I was into it. Hold up. Uh, we were still driving. There we go. Off-road now. Roger, I repeat, I have eyes on Ukrainian troops. Off-road. We would definitely do Cold 1 again, because there's true a threat in front of us, and we do not want to get spotted or shot at, especially with a VIP in the vehicle. I see you, Grant, trying to get them views. Yeah, I don't really want a promotion, but they can give me one if they want. It. So he said, I've like, I'm not acting for it. Place. All right. He said he, I've Rico's been the uh, E5 Rico's been there for five years. So if he wants a promotion, he'll have to go. It's hard to explain. Like he'll have to complete certain tests because the next rank is pretty, pretty major. To be honest, uh, hold on, let me search it up. E6. That would be Conyol. Conyol, right? E6 rank. Uh, I believe he's in the army. Special forces, yeah. Wait, not E6. O6. That's what, uh, Sergeant Mate, uh, Mickerson is. Uh,. Yep, that's Kanyo. That's Kanyo. That's major. So, Rico, in the next episode, basically, he is gonna be... He is gonna be leading 3,000 to 5,000 soldiers. Dang. Um, let's see what he's leading into battle now. Like, how many troops is he leading into battle now? A thousand soldiers, okay, okay, that's still a lot, though, that's still a lot. 
That's an LTC 05. This is the furthest we can go. Let's go, man. So right now, Rico's leading 1,000 troops into battle, but when he turns into an 06, he'll lead it, be leading 3,000 to 6, 5,000 troops into battle. That is a lot. He's doing a lot right now. That probably has a lot of stress on him. Get your grenades ready. This is about to be a war of the lifetime of Russia. Let's go. Let's go. Sir, it's too cold up here. We are trained for this. And I don't care what you think. Huh. We trained for this. We about to move into the Alps. We are SOG, Special Operations Group. We are trained for this. Just wait until we hit the mountains. Huh. All the way up there to the Alps. I hope we do take France. Huh. <laughs> yes, sir. Where's the officer in charge? Ain't I'm in the officer in charge? I'm leading 1,000 troops into battle. And they saying, where's the officer in charge? I'm right here, buddy. Yeah. All right, here's our small base above here. Kind of like a rivalry. All right. All right, let's go, man. How are we going to do this? I don't know. Didn't they say stealthy? I do not know. Do we have snipers here? Might, sir. We ear might. Uh, right. <laughs> an ear bite is a bug that infects infects a cat's ear. And possibly a human's ear, I don't know. But yeah. Right, My baby had it. Sniper. We are SOG. Special We are trained for this. You have any family hermano? Oh he said, Do you have any family hermano? I don't know what hermano means. Hermano in English, brother. She called him brother. So she said, Do you have any family, brother? And I don't know what he said, because this is a war. No. Not anymore, they died? Dang, I feel bad. Thank you for your service. Thank you. All the way up there to the Alps. I hope we do take friends. Thank you. Alright, we're here. Yes, sir. Metal, I have eyes on the sniper tower over a sniper tower. Roger. You could take we that. We would not be standing up. We would be trying to blend into the environment if I was a sniper. Out by shooting the barrels. They have sniper towers, you guys. Alright. I have open doors to possibly the secret entrance bunker. Roger. All the sniper towers have, uh, barrels connected to them. Not all of them, though. You just said all, but not all of them. Yeah. Nuclear stockpile. Those are, I believe, Nikes. Which, the shelling right here, you guys, the shelling right here is also what's right there. Right there. Shooting the missile in three, two, one. Are those smirches or toasts? Uh oh, the missile's inbound. <laughs> Looks like a smirch. Firing in three, two, one, zero. Firing. We do not say zero, we just fire. Base is destroyed. Towers destroyed. Dang! Roger. Dang! Sniper moving in position. Sniper? That's is that a 50 caliber? That is not a 50 caliber. 50 calibers are bigger. How did it just destroy that sniper tower? It blew some up. <laughs> St Thanks, thank Holly, yo. Now we do not play while we're doing a mission, especially a very high valuable mission. So yeah, stop joking around, Rico. Stop singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said that. I just said that. Zero one. Now we do not f fire at aircraft, but we do have weaponry that was given to us by the United States military uh, to take that out. Let's go. 
Not that out, but tanks out. Javelins. You've heard of it, probably. And that's what we're using right now to destroy uh, structures. Get your breacher ready. Pedro, figure out a way to get past them. Yes, sir. Now, uh, he used to have a smart mouth. The one that just said, yes, sir, he used to have a smart mouth. He used to be like, yes, sir. And he used to get annoying to the whole battle team. A thousand troops used to hate that guy. But now I knocked some sense into him when the war started. Two, one, zero, fire. Base is destroyed. Hey, you're not allowed to be here. Quick scope them. No, we cannot quick scope them. We would have to have like, I don't know, Android technology in your eye to uh, quick scope somebody like in Call of Duty. This is not Call of Duty. This is real life, you guys. Oh. And I made it. What are these nuclear reactors? Possibly for the bunker. Now we try to stay as far away away from those i mean it i don't know if that's waste metal nuclear metal this might be the way to 238 i don't know i'm not a uh chemiologist so we do have chemical warfare special operation teams but they're not here at the moment so yeah let's go get your breacher now we use shotguns to breach sometimes we use Grenade, concussive grenade launchers, which you're going to be seeing the uh, troops use a lot. Let's go, men! And javelin missiles. Not to breach, but to take out tanks. Let's go! As you saw. Oh, stack up on this gate. Yes, sir. Stacking up on this gate. Firing grenade in three, two, one. I thought you were going to fire go. a grenade. Hands up! Hands up! You're under attack! We would not tell them we were we were attacking them they would know huh. they knew we were coming Fire at them. quick scope them sniper oh oh i headshotted them and squick quick scope metal zero one we may have a oh i got call of duty aim oh my shot them and God, squick quick scope scoped them and headshot them. metal zero one we may have a breach over Ooh. actually never mind we don't we don't have a we breach don't have a breach so you were saying this is inside setup. Dang. The president want, must want some secret done. Stay quiet. <laughs> we don't we're tell civvies to stay quiet. We would if like we were doing a uh, um what's it called? Close quarter operations. Which is in Call of Duty Modern Warfare a lot, actually. Where's your base at? We were going upstairs in townhomes and stuff. Yeah. Where is your base at? A civvy doesn't know. They just work there. They're probably not even allowed in the bunk. Tell me now or you'll have a 50 caliber to your head. That was a 50 caliber. Okay. Let's go, man. Let's go. He's not telling me. He's saying no. Nah, right, don't bye. Him, bro. Don't kill him. He, he's saying no. Sorry, buddy. Let's go. What is this? Metal tag it. Yes, sir. Tagging it and destroying it. Metal stack up in three. Wait, hold on. Stack up. Yes, sir. Stack it up. Shooting grenade in three, two. Stack it up. Stack it up. Go. Yeah, we wouldn't say. Metal zero one. We have eyes on the thing over. Stack it up. Use your grab to destroy it over. Use your grab, Roger. Now you see a lot of communication in the other half of the video. Lots of communication with HQ. Your head. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh oh, a truck is coming. Uh, where do we go? Oh, over here in this bush. That's what happened to right, Ghost. Stack up. Yes, sir. Shooting grenade. Three, two. 
We use those for breaching, you guys. Obviously. I just Dang, told you guys we tore that. that thing up. All the way from up ab above that mountain. That's the explosion that happened earlier. Not that mountain. Hey! She's running. Uh oh! Unknown force here! That's probably the M MP, military police. I don't, I don't have much to say about military police, but they gonna arrest Joe. But if you don't run, they know we're here, Roger. Oh, they know we're here, and MP does not have helicopters, but the Air Force does. Let's go. Actually, every branch does. Oh, let's go. To be honest. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Keep on going. When you're pulling up at their uh, radar array, over. Roger. Pulling up at their air, air base of Ra. Put a C4 charge on there! Oh, that is the favorite thing that Lieutenant Rico loves to put on doors. Okay. Because the shrapnel from the explosion goes through the door if it's weak enough. Put it in. Bad idea to stand behind the door. <laughs> C4 charge on there. Blow it in three, two. Whoa, what the charge didn't work or it did it blow up? Blow the charge! Oh, oh! Dang! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get in the train. Yes, sir. Get in the train. Oh, yeah, remember they said, uh. The general said that, uh, we- we can get in by a train. Yes, sir. And he said, yes, sir. Wait! Didn't I say- didn't Rico say that you're not allowed to say that before the war? Wait, I, I don't think I can get in the train. Let's go, keep on going. When you're pulling up at their, uh, radar array over Marzor 1, let's go. I got the wrong weapon for this operation. I have a dang sniper. And, and medium range, uh, medium range combat, really? AKA MRC. Okay. Destroy their comms. Firing. Now we definitely would take their power out, take their internet out, anything to stay stealthy. They are dark, over. Roger. Fur and advanced breacher in three, two. Now you definitely, again, not seen in the military. Motor Zero One, let's go, let's go. I have eyes on a secret base, code name Bravo, over. Let's go, get out of here, let's go. Oh! 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 That's the first combat word I uh you the Ukraine said in days. He said, "Save your prayers." Dang! I must really not like that they're in that building. Here, let's go. Fire. Say your prayers. Dang! Come on! Get in! We gotta get out of here! Go! Oh, we try to get out of there ASAP! Shoot at him! Get everything you got! Hey, where's really? the closest After way out of here? The closest way out of here, sir, is... I don't know, sir. Actually, closest way out of here... In panic, we have to learn to adapt to the situation and stay calm. We can't panic. Leads back to the base. Then let's go. We're gonna lose them soon. Now they definitely do sound Russian, aka uh, Russian. So yeah, those are Russians, definitely. Let's go! Oh! What did Rico say about that? You're not allowed to say, let's go, or yes, sir. 
There might be a train in here. We might not see it coming, man. Uh-oh. No! Boom! Oh. Mother's one, where's the alternative way? I don't know, sir. We fell down the mountain. Climb it. Mother's one, you have an emergency hinge, but you are inside a war zone. Get out of there now. Fire the emergency chute! Roger, firing the emergency chute. Oh, the chemical oh, reaction oh, happened! Oh! Mundo Zero One! That nuclear explosive hydrogen? Tuh. We need to do tests on that. We need to bomb them or something! Roger. No. Dang, the private can sing. Roger. We're in the middle of a war zone. There's a war going down there, you guys. Hey! Yo. Wow. We're behind enemy lines. And it's time to retaliate. Alright. Get up there, men. Find enemy lines, eh? It's not our first rodeo. A eh, British guy. Right, get information so we can bomb them. That is also known as Tactical Laser Squadron. Ta T L S S. Tactical Laser. Tactical Laser. Actually, T S P. Tactical Laser. Tactical laser TL positioning team PLST, I believe, or PT. Bro, really? Put your butt up there. Don't get spotted either. Uh oh, right. This General, is the Ukrainian the, war. The uh, Secretary of Press. All right, so Let's some decent spots to bomb. Right here. Let's see what she got to say. Oh, no, it ain't in. So let's say you have to read an incredibly long email from your boss that you have to finish before the big meeting starts. Correspond Holly Williams. As see, we saw, we saw those. We saw those. We saw those. Let's go back right quick. Uh, let me take a photo of this right quick. Um, there, there. Go. Pass that to the side. Um, but we have to be careful of civilian. Right there. Do you see the similarities, you guys? Hold on. Right there. Do you guys see the similarity? Yeah. So. Fire. Dang! Dang the Russians got air support. I mean, air superiority. Bomb. That's something they had to get. So I'm thinking the bomber should go this way so they can destroy all their defenses. Now this is when we when Russia lost like a thousand of their troops to uh bomber support. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna call our bomber in, you guys. Bombi <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop, General. 
kid, you need to tell your general to stop. Oh, what is that? Alien technology? Hold up. What is that? What is that? I don't know. I've seen them in uh German battles. Some decent spots to bomb, but we have to be careful of civilian fire. Get to the front line! Boom! Oh, they getting towed up by artillery or missiles. Dang, they getting tore up at that front line. Dang. Again, we need air support. Dang. I feel bad for the Ukrainians. They are crying for air support. They are crying for air superiority. The Russians are tearing our butts up. I repeat, up, this is model. HQ. If we send a bomber there, it will get shot down by their 7,000. 7,000? Let me search that up. 7... Russia... Russia. Air superiority fighters. That is uh, hold on. How many Su-57, how many... That is about right. 7,000 to the... Divided by the second power. Yep. Air Force. 